Hey, it's Joe Crump. Got another question here um, in this real estate investing question and answer series. Uh, this question is from uh, Homero Castano. Uh, he's from Laredo, Texas. He says, hello, Joe. I'm a fan of yours since a while back and have a couple of questions and would appreciate uh, to have them answered. Do your systems work under the current market conditions? I'm referring specifically to people having less money these days uh, to buy houses and fewer mortgages being made, uh, or maybe the difficulty is all in my mind. Well, no, it's not in your mind. It's, it's definitely happening. There's definitely a, a problem here. We are in a recession. Uh, the market house, uh, housing uh, crunch is here. The, the mortgage crunch is here. People can't buy properties. There's, there is a problem. But this problem in the economy has made uh, a unique opportunity for what we do. Now uh, we're in the perfect storm for, for investing the way I teach. Uh, using no credit, no down payments, seller financing. These are the things that work right now. So absolutely, this is the perfect time for this. Um, one of the reasons it works is there's more people that can't sell their property, more people who don't have much equity to pay a realtor. Uh, so it makes it easier for them to be willing to sell to you seller finance because they have to make payments on that. And if they're not living it, they're going to go into foreclosure uh, or they're not going to be able to move. So you can take over those payments for them and buy it subject to, I think I've talked about subject to deals and buy and taking over properties like that. So lots of great opportunities. There's also a great way to sell, sell properties because there's so many people right now that can't get mortgages because they don't qualify. The old stated income loans are gone. The BC paper, you know, for bad credit people, the, those, those are gone. Uh, most people have bad credit and don't qualify for a mortgage. So that makes it possible for you to find lease option buyers. They're everywhere. It is so easy to sell a lease option property these days. Now, uh, that doesn't mean that we're not having a few more vacancies. We're getting more vacancies on some of the rental properties we have simply because people are losing their jobs as well and they can't make their payments. But then it's easy to fill them again. So you've got some of the good, some of the bad. Uh, if you're holding properties for the long term, you're going to have a few more vacancies these days. If you're just flipping them and taking the cash, you can make that happen all day long. But uh, you also want to keep some of these properties because that's going to make you rich in the long run. The cash flow is great. gives you a great lifestyle. You can make a lot of income, a great hourly wage. I mean, we're, most of my students are, uh, when they're working at this and they're being successful at it, they're making two, four, five hundred dollars an hour uh, doing this stuff. Uh, they're, they're working you know, 10, 15, 20 hours a week uh, doing this as a full-time job and making uh, twice as much money as they were making in their regular job. So you can make a great income, but if you want to get rich at it, then you got to keep some properties. And that requires a little bit more risk because there's a possibility you might have a vacancy and you'd have to make a payment. But if you've got the income coming in uh, from the cash flow and from the other part of the business, that's not going to be as, as scary for you. And it's going to be a great, uh, great, great investment for you. It says, Joe, I appreciate your time. Uh, reading my question. I want to let you know I already have your first book, but I don't feel confident enough or brave enough uh, or, uh, bra or confident enough to brave the streets of Laredo uh, in my, uh, on my own uh, and uh, to start doing offers without someone who could help me through the first deals. I feel insecure because I think there's so much that I need to learn. I have gone to the point of doing uh, the cheap signs, the ugly signs, and gone to the neighborhoods I plan to work in, but I've not worked up the nerve to put them up yet. Um, you got to do that. You got to put out some, put out those signs, and uh, just see what kind of calls you get. Even if you don't answer them, <laughs> see what kind of calls you get. You're going to get flooded with calls, and it's going to be very exciting because you're going to say, "Oh, what do I do now?" And it's going to give you some motivation to, to go to the next level. And if you start calling these people, it's going to, uh, it's going to get you motivated to go out and find a seller. The thing that you should do first as an investor, when you're getting started, is go out and put some deals together. Use the for rent method uh, that I teach. You know, that for rent method is so easy. You just go out and ask people who are, who've got their homes listed for rent, and you ask them, hey, instead of, you know, selling your property, or, or instead of renting your property, would you consider selling it rent to own? And, uh, you know, one out of three is our statistic that we've got. Say yes. 
And uh, then you go out and uh, you get them to sign a lease option memo. So you become a principal. If you don't have a license, you got to do it this way. Uh, you become a principal in the transaction so you can sell your own property. You go out and find a lease option buyer. You take the lease option fee, give the first month rent to the landlord, and you're in and out of the deal. The buyer's happy. They've got a lease option property they couldn't have bought any other way. Seller's happy. They've got a tenant for their property and maybe somebody who's going to pay them full price for the property. And you're happy because you made a chunk of money. And you can go out and do it again and again and again. It's a great way to get started. And when you start putting the signs out, it's going to, going to make it happen. You, 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 you gain confidence by doing it. You're going to be uncomfortable at the beginning. There's just no way around it. You're going to sound like an idiot on the phone when you talk to these people and try to explain to them what you're trying to do. But as you do that, that humiliation is probably good for you because you're going to get off the phone and you're going to feel bad and you're going to think, well, uh, if I had said this or I could have said that or Joe told me to say this or, or I remember them talking about that you know, on, the, on, the, on his conference calls or in his audios or at the buying event and, and I should do it this way this time. If you come to the buying event, by the way, uh, which is only for my mentor students, and I do the two-day buying event that's coming up. Uh, when you come to the buying event, we actually have you on the phone talking to sellers, doing offers. But I don't put you on the phone until I take you through a bunch of, uh, we kind of do a role-playing process where we go back and forth and I put you, I break you up in groups so you can get used to saying the words. I tell you what words to say, but I want you to get comfortable saying them. I want you to get comfortable with the responses that you need to make. And, and that's all it takes. Also, I would recommend that you find a mentor. I think my program is excellent, and it would probably work for you. Uh, if you do the work, I know it'll work for you. Uh, but you don't have to hire me. You can go get another mentor or somebody else who knows how to do this stuff, and you can learn from them. If you have that person in place, then you can call them up. You can send them an email. You can send them your contracts. You, know, you can get on my conference calls with me. You can come to my events. You can learn how to do it, and you always know that no matter what you do, you can come back to me and say, all right, here's the problem I'm having, or I think I screwed up here, what do I do to solve that problem, or, or am I in danger here, or did I make a big mistake, or how do, you know, I'm not getting enough leads, or I'm not getting this, or I'm not doing that, or, uh, or uh, what I love to hear is, hey, Joe, I just did my first deal, I just made $10,000, uh, I'm, I'm on my way, or hey, Joe, I've done 10 deals now, I've done them you know, consistently, and I'm quitting my, my day job, and I'm doing this full time. I'm going to be able to work 20 hours a week, and I'm going to be able to make a six-figure income, and uh, hopefully I'm going to start keeping properties, and I'm going to get rich eventually. These things will happen if you follow through with this process. Most of the people that come in my program want to be rich, but really it's about the lifestyle. It's about having the things that you want and being able to live on your terms, on, on your time frame, being able to work the amount of hours that you want to work, and knowing that you get paid for what you produce, not because you put in the hours, because it's not about the hours. You don't have to do very many hours <laughs> and still make a great living. Anyway, um, he says, um, anyway, I'm avidly reading your newsletters. I think there's extremely valuable stuff there, and I find that the videos uh, that you that you produce and the recordings are very full of information and inspiring. I read through all the testimonials on your website in a weekend. Uh, that's something that you not just read them, but watch the videos, listen to the audios. The, the website uh, you can go to is uh, joecrump.com forward slash partner forward slash case study dot html. Go to that site. There's a bunch of webs. There's a bunch of videos there of people, and it's not just about them saying what a wonderful guy I am. Uh, it's also they tell you what they did to get started, how they got their first deal, the kind of business that they're running, uh, how they're making money. These are things that you can learn from them as case studies by example, uh, and then you can also find out how wonderful I am as well. Um, <clears throat> anyway, he says, I, I remain a fan of yours. I'm currently saving to purchase your mentor program. Hope to become one of your students uh, uh, this year. As I said, I appreciate you a lot. There should be more people like you helping others help themselves. I wish you and your family a, a good holiday. Thanks, Amaro. I appreciate it. And uh, hang in there and uh, move forward. Take action on what you're learning here because uh, that's the only way you truly learn this business is to actually do it. You've got to have some guidance to get started. But when you start doing it, that's when you make money. All right, good luck.